Morning girls, welcome back to Amberlynn Reed, and this one is just here to blow away all you haters. And I say all you haters because obviously I don't mean me, I'm the goodest boy who's ever existed in the girl world. That is why I name myself Girl World Ireland, because I'm a mad supporter, a simp, you would say, of my dainty queen here. Uh, she has come out to BTFO the haters by having a, a video sit-down conversation, apparently, with Feline. I highly doubt we're still going to see her face, but whatever. Um, it, it, like The thumbnail is outstanding because it looks like Feline is choking her out from behind. And it's going to be like a dainty cuddle or something like that. But it's genuine. It's, it, 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 the entire reason why they have to do it like that is because you see you put the, like, the arms around the stomach or around the hips or something like that, but Amber's just too fat that you can't do it. So Feline has to put her arm around like her fucking throat. It looks like she's choking her out from behind. It's like you're watching a UFC match um it's it's dumb it's just dumb like uh maybe we're gonna see her face but maybe not it's it just falls into that thing where I already said it doesn't matter what Amber does. It just doesn't matter what Amber does. I don't think Amber has ever convinced anyone ever about her being correct and her being right and everyone else being wrong. It, it, it just it just doesn't happen. Because she could have Feline come out here and say, Hey guys, you know what? Actually, I'm the bad person. I did everything wrong in the relationship. Amber's just a dainty queen and really, I'm a really terrible person. And everyone would be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. Okay, so what you're saying is Amber's a really bad person and she made you say this. Because like, how many breakups have there been? All of them, the, the the girlfriend either continued to appear on video afterwards or was there for the breakup, especially like the Becky one. And it's like, now, now we're hearing all these stories coming out about how Amber was abusive and gaslighting and manipulative. So, yeah, firstly, it wouldn't surprise me if she like has tricked Feline into thinking that she is actually the problem just through like constant fucking gaslighting. Or if, like, Feline just doesn't want to have the animosity that the other girls clearly didn't want to have that at the start and are now more happy to delve into. It doesn't prove anything if Feline is here and says, oh my god, she's such a dainty queen. It just doesn't prove anything. That's not even including the idea that Feline is just some fucking floating arm. <laughs> she's just some floating arm who is just like... You know, oh, I, I'm just kind of here in the background and it's like, baby, occasionally. And that's it. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if Amber's like, I'll pay you five grand to come on here and say that I'm a fucking dainty queen and you love me so much. And it's like, oh, uh, sure, who is this convincing? Feline could come out here and like kneel herself to the cross and say, I am the worst person who's ever existed. Amber is literally the reincarnation of fucking Jesus. And people be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. She's still a piece of shit though. It does, it, I don't know who this is for. Apart from, I guess, Amber, because she just wants to have it on record. She's the greatest person ever, but no one believes the record, so who cares? Uh, it's, 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 it's 20 minutes long, so I think we're just going to get straight into this. 1.25 speed. All right, you guys. So, All right. Felina's here. Are we not going to hello? And this is hard for the both of us, but... It sounds... It, it's, I, can hear, I can hear you laughing in your voice, so I don't think it's uh, hard for the both of you. I asked her if she wanted to, you know, say I, her side. I kept throwing money at her. There are a lot of you who do like her. No sides. What are you... There's a lot of you who like her. Did anyone get that from watching the fallout from this? Did anyone get that? It's like, oh my god, no, we're losing Feline, guys. Oh no, I'm so sad that Whitebeast going away. Oh, it breaks my... Most people are like, who the fuck's... Feline? The fuck is that? Who the... What the fuck is that Feline? Oh, is it the arm? Oh, it's... you're talking about the arm. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah I think I... I think I remember seeing that. Maybe did I? I don't remember. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> Who likes Feline? Who's who is ever going to sit there in ten years' time? Because obviously Amber will still be alive in ten years' time. We'll all still be discussing this. Who's sitting there going, "Oh, my favorite era was the Feline era." <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I don't feel like there's any sides to this breakup. No, there's no sides, but we I definitely want you to be able to. Who are your voice. sides? And uh... I want to use your voice. She's not like she's a dog. Well, I, I need to, firstly, I can't believe we're only at 1.25 speed. Secondly, I need to check something here. Oh, no. Oh, my fuck. What? Why? Bro. Why is there just a black bit at the bottom there? Was it, was that just an error? Okay. What the? Are we serious here? Well, okay. This is going to be a, this is going to be a great watch for you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to say to like 15 year old girls, like rendition of a harp. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna sit dumb. It looks like that's a dude biting some other dude's lower lip. <laughs> it's like two Pac-Man dudes. <laughs> Sorry, that's gonna keep me entertained for the whole thing. Uh, uh, you guys are gonna. Oh, you're gonna have to. Um, there you go. I'll, I'll let you watch. There you go. 
There you go. You can watch you can watch my dainty queen bump and grind on me. She can stay there for the recording. <laughs> We've got nothing else to fucking look at. I don't really have any other images. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't really have anything else to show you. You just have to sit and deal with that. Oh, I might actually bump this up to 1.5. I'll, I'll, I'll go for a little bit longer and see how slowly they talk. We'll go from there. This is the best way to do it. I went on to Instagram. And, okay. um... These were the top questions. Did she do an Instagram? And already went on. Did she do an Instagram Q and A about her breakup? God, imagine being like, she was the one. And my heart yearns for angels in heaven. All the fluffy shit that she went through, and we actually have her sitting here being like, uh, yeah, no, I went on Instagram to ask people, what's your main questions about my breakup? <laughs> Fuck off. For them to decide if she wants to answer them or not, and she said they're all fine to answer. Why didn't you get her boyfriend? I mean, I'm sorry, your friend, the guy who came around and picked the last questions. Why didn't you get him to come around and pick the questions again? Because obviously, I, you know, I want her to be able to speak about what she wants to speak about. So sure. I don't remember a single one of those questions. Sure. Uh, do you want to go over them again? No, it's fine. Just throw them at me. Okay. Like, do you want to go over them again? It's like. Isn't that what you're going to do when you ask her the questions? Like, isn't isn't that it? Like, Amber has this, like, weird, like, fucking thing in her head where she, like, acts. Like, once a question is in the Q&A, she can't just cut that segment out. She either has to be like, ugh, I'm not answering this, like, on camera. It's like, why don't you just, like, not show you picking that question then and just go to the next one? You can just edit that out. It'll be really easy. So the first question is, will you be moving out of state as well? Okay. Um, Yeah. I That's a good I question. Thanks. Thanks, know, random person. Um, Are we seriously? Yeah, I mean, that's about it. I, I just know I'm moving. I don't know where. I don't have a set date, but... Sorry, we're, we're going up to 1.5 speed. I, I know some people don't like it. However, this is unbearably slow. Like, oh my Christ, this is so slow. That's uh, just a new adventure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I love the, I love the forced... <sighs> Yeah. And then she laughs like two seconds later. <laughs> also, it was like schizophrenic three seconds of her life. So emotional. I clearly. We both, we both keep going back and forth between numb and super emotional. Yeah. And it's always on different times. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's weird. It's almost like you're both like totally acting like normally right now. It's it's so it's so weird. This is like the heartbreak of the century. Like the two lovebirds who like were bonded together by Lord and Savior Jesus Butter himself. And for some reason... We can't get either of them fucking crying on camera. I'm emotional, she's numb. When I'm numb, she's emotional. Okay, sure. We haven't synced up our, our emotions yet. No. She sounds bored. We remain in each other's lives. It's like, ha, yeah, yeah, we haven't, uh, yeah, synced up our emotions yet. She sounds so fucking bored. She sounds like she doesn't give a shit. Lives as friends. I mean, we better. Oh my god. Are, are, are we gonna be besties? Uh, I mean, that's, that's still my best friend, like. Aww. Aww. Don't cry. This is so real. <laughs> you, you wanna be honest? I literally. Thought is this why is this why we have this up so we can't see because like, it, it'd be really easy for amber to have set this up in a way that doesn't show feline it would be so easy like all we, we, we could just be looking up at amber and she could be looking off camera to feline we could have had them sitting on the couch together but had angled so you only see like feline's shoulder or something like that like she's done it before but she's shown them sitting side by side i i just i don't i don't get the fucking purpose of this apart from Everyone was keep kept joking. Amber isn't crying. Amber can't cry. This is so funny. Look at her try and cry. Now she can at least try and be like, "Look, guys, I'm crying." Oh, oh, Feline say I'm crying. Oh, Feline said I'm crying, guys. Like, but you don't sound like you're crying. You were gonna be the one to cry during this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I feel very detached. <laughs> so it's been working in this moment of time. That doesn't um, that doesn't seem like oh my god I'm so heartbroken it's like, I feel detached from the situation it does not seem like she's actually that heartbroken you know I have my moments where yeah I'm crying um, like you said I have my moments where I'm numb uh huh but, um, did that heart just change size yeah this moment I just did that heart just change size well do you know what if, if that heart's changing size my girl's changing size as well there you go get get her bigger the heart's getting smaller we should, we should do a representation of like the heart is how much like they clearly give a shit and as it gets smaller during this fucking conversation amber just keeps getting bigger because the narcissism's taking hold i guess surreal yeah and what i mean by it, it's working is like because i'm the one who kind of made the rules no sleeping in the bed together oh my god and he yeah. asked her if she's comfortable on the couch he says 
it's cozy, so. I keep making the rules. I had to enforce, Feline, you're not allowed to get in bed with me. I know that's really my gimmick, and it's me who's usually the one to do that, and everyone criticizes me that it's weird that I do that, but actually, I'm the one who has to enforce it on her, because she's obsessed with me, and she just needs to do that. You know, unlike anyone else who's ever existed ever apart from me. For some reason, she's the only other, fuck off, this is so dumb. <laughs> this is so dumb. All right, so next gone. question. Will Chewy. you keep the tattoos you got that have to do with Squeaker's here. Hello, Squeaker. <laughs> well, we cover... Do you know what? Maybe that's why she's getting those that, that big sleeve. That was like the start of her slowly covering over those tattoos. Amber. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't see a reason not to. Um, that's not a real answer. My tattoos are... That's not a, like, that's not a real answer. It's like, confusing. Like, yeah, I don't see why not. Why oh, I wouldn't keep my tattoos on my girlfriend. It's like... You don't? That doesn't even come across like a real answer. Like, who the fuck would ever be asked that? It's like, I oh yeah, I have my, my girlfriend's name stencil up the side of my dick. It's like, would you get rid of that? It's like, no. Why 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 would I get rid of my girlfriend's name? Even while we break up? That doesn't make any sense to me. It's like can we can we get the human dialogue here? Is this is this oh my god, is this Conspiracy theory time! <laughs> let's, let's fucking go! Is this why we have this fucking blank screen here? Obviously not. You guys have Dainty Queen Amber bumping and grinding here, aren't we? But, like, is this why we have this? It, it, did she get one of those, like, voice AIs? You know, where you put in a bunch of, like, the bunch of person speaking, and you get, like, a voice AI? People use, like, for, like, President Biden talking about things. Is that what, is that what they have? <laughs> did, he, did she take Feline's voice and put it through one of these, like, fucking chat AI things? And she's just having her read out this inhuman fucking dialogue? A story of my life. Is that why she does, like, she sounds, like, so flat? There's no real changes in her tone or anything like that? Because, like, the, the chatbot can't do it. The only thing she's going to say differently is when the chatbot goes, Baby! Randomly, because it's, it's got that down pat. <laughs> the rest of it, she's just like, nah, she's a, she's a drone. My journeys and people in my life. Sure, okay. Um, and... Yeah, Amber may not be my partner anymore, but she's still someone I love. Um, that doesn't change. No, I'm not just going to erase her. Oh, please do. Do you think it's going to be hard to see the tattoos, though? Because I can't even imagine. <laughs> um, yeah. You think it's going to be hard to look at the tattoos and remember someone like me was once in your life and you lost that by not fixing yourself? Like, I, I worked really hard to fix myself. You know why, like, I was doing the weight loss surgery thing and I came out heavier at the end of it and quit? Well, I actually worked way harder to fix myself than you did to correct yourself. <laughs> why? Why the fuck would it? Why would it be hard for her? Oh, do you remember that you lost me when you look at those tattoos? Fuck right off! You ain't much. Worth. She's not worth anything. Like who would give a shit? As everyone keeps saying in the comment section, Feline had a six hundred pound weight loss. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be you know a whole new adjustment when we're not living together. Like once we say our yeah. I was going to say final goodbyes, but I don't think it's that. I don't think it's final goodbyes. I told you that. Yeah, I don't think so. This audio balancing is going to be a pain in the ass because, holy shit, bro. Like, why, why is it so quiet? Why is it so quiet specifically on just the fucking um, Feline side because she set it up so fucking poorly? It's just going to be us not living together anymore. In two completely different states. <laughs> but you love to travel. Why do you keep so. saying... I, I, maybe it's a big thing in America. Like, I'm sure it is a big thing in America. Where you live, states you live in, everything like that. But it just seems so... Like, what, what is this? Like, we are going to live apart in different states. It's like, okay. It's, a, it's like if like me and my girlfriend broke up, and it's like, we're going to live on in different cities. It's like... Well, what? Do you think that's a normal thing to say? Do you even know what a state is? Uh-huh, sure, okay, pretend you do. Pretend you're the sassy one here. I'll make my way to you at some point. Yes, you will. In your words, why did the breakup happen? In my words, um... I was scared Amber's gonna roll over on like top of me. this probably the most adult relationship I've ever had. Oh my god. Um, that is, like, that is Amber's, like, sentence. That is, that is Amber's saying, this is the most adult relationship I've ever had. This is the most mature relationship I've ever had. What is, what is this? Also, spoiler, you guys are, like, in your 30s. <laughs> you guys are in your 30s. You're not, like, 20. You're not, like, 20, and you're, you're, you've had, like, a relationship where you've got your first, like, dog together or something like that. I was like, you know what? This is the most mature relationship I've ever had because you're used to, like, high school fucking crushes and shit like that. You're in your 30s, and you're like, I guess this is the most adult relationship I've ever had. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? 
I'm sorry, like, I'm really leaning on this being the fucking voice AI shit, because it is, this is Amber's sentence. Is, is that also like, other conspiracy theory, backup conspiracy theory. If the first conspiracy theory turns out not to be true, the voice AI, the second one is that Felina is sitting there reading from a script, and that's why we don't see them. And that's what it came down to, we just, we don't give each other what we need. Um, in Ugh. all senses. That's, that's not in all senses, but... Any, spe in, uh, any specific examples you want to provide for me here? Because right now, Amber's shit all over Feline, doing the whole, like, oh, yeah, Feline's a piece of shit. You know, <laughs> she, 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 if she only she cried that herself, we'd still be together. All that kind of shit. But the only thing she could think of, of an issue with her is that they couldn't go traveling. Like, there was no animosity. There is no animosity. Sure. Um, at least from my end, there's no ill will. Sure, so it, there's no animosity whatsoever, but Feline had to get so drunk she nearly needed an ambulance because she is so torn up about it. And then she was trying to, like, force her way into bed with Amber. Yeah, there's, there's definitely not, especially with Amber going straight on to say how Feline needed to fix herself and should have corrected it and they could have still been together. If, if only she wasn't the only one actually working on improving herself. All that shit and all the bad memories she has. All the hint, hint, subtle abuse shit she was throwing in there. But there's no animosity, guys. That they're totally, totally level. This, what is this? It's. It's weaker. We're still in love. Like, I still love her. Yeah, clearly. But sometimes that's just not enough. To push a relationship through. Could you act like I don't know, change your voice inclination in any shape or form? Act like you actually give a fuck here. Come on. Yeah. You know. I've tried to explain that, and some people don't believe in mutual breaking up, and it is a thing. It's when two people agree <laughs> to go their separate some ways. Pe some people don't agree with mutual breaking up. No, 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 no. Lots of people agree with mutual breaking up. They don't believe it in your case. <laughs> they don't believe it in your case when you're so desperate and you can't exist without other people near you. Pe people believe mutual breakups exist. They're just not for you. Person, it's like you have to make that unselfish decision to say, I'm not what you need. And I, will I love both of them at once. Apparently, both said to each other, "I'm not what you need right now." Like, I, I like, I get. I would get it for Amber to her because apparently, Feline's entire life is traveling or something, and she can't do that with Amber because Amber doesn't care enough for her own health or apparently for Feline to just lose some fucking weight. Like, I know, imagine, guys, but like, it doesn't come across like what. What about Feline? Does Amber not need right now? You know, because it's also fucking big and nebulous. It's like, why have this conversation if you're just both going to be like, you know, there's things and stuff like that. When You know, things and things like such as forthwith and uh, etc. And then that's it. That's the end of the fucking conversation. You're just saying words now, bro. It's probably one of the most mature things I've ever done. Yeah. Hi, Amber. So the next question was actually, are you still in love with Amber Lynn? <laughs> uh -huh. Of course. Yeah. Of course, I love her with all my heart. If you could turn back time, what would you do differently? If you could turn back time. Um, not order, not order those McDonald's, not order those McDonald's cheeseburgers, because that just, that was the end of that relationship. There's a lot of things I would do differently. Like? Really? Yeah. Like? Um, I would have made sure I was in a better place emotionally, mentally. Is that it? Um, before entering this relationship. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, I, I don't know, I, I joke around about buzzwords and stuff like that a lot. I joke around about gaslighting and stuff like that. I do consider a lot, a lot of things to be kind of buzzwords nowadays. That the, Their meaning has been entirely stripped away by massive overuse. But when when the person who's, you know, get, you know doing the mutual breakup or whatever the fuck, the Feline character, is like, you know, I, I, sh I should have like worked more on myself before getting into a relationship with Amber. I should have been in a better headspace mentally and stuff like that. That feels like the type of thing some would say if they have been gaslit into thinking, you're crazy, you're so abusive, you don't understand how abusive you are just because you're fucked up head. Your fucked up head is affecting me. That's that's where my head would go with that. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm entirely wrong. Maybe that is a shot in the dark. I have missed the net. I was shooting into the crowd and I've just knocked out like an orphan. I have no idea. Maybe it's the worst thought I've ever had. But I don't know. I just, that, that's just how I feel about it. It feels very like she has been told your fucked up brain has fucked up this relationship. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Who fucking knows, bros? You know, I'm... 
I'm still at a point in my life where I'm, I'm growing and changing from year to year. Um, week to week. <laughs> Me too, though. Minute to minute, second to second. Uh, this is a this is a really dry conversation. And I don't, uh, unless in the next like 12, 13 minutes, we, we're going to get something mind blowing. I don't think this is helping Amber the way she thinks it is because there's like no emotion from Feline whatsoever and it just seems very stilted. Yeah. Um, and I think when I, we first started dating, I thought I was like in a good spot. I was taking medication for mental health, uh, going to therapy regularly. Um, I had felt the best I've, I've felt in my adult life. And I thought like, it can't get any better than this, but there was- But two years later, you're still in that position, which to be fair, like, if you are somebody who actually had bad mental health, I have no idea. Matt, my opinion, to get with Amberlynn, you probably do need to have bad mental health just in general, because you're, you're, you're just, you're, you're just like, <sighs> I don't want to sound super mean when I say what mentally healthy person would choose to be with someone like Amberlynn, you know, um, someone who's 600 pounds. So you already know you're going in to just a bad time. You're just going into a bad time. No matter how you fucking cut that cake, you're going in for a fucking shit show. And apart from that, you're, you're looking at someone who's like an internet celebrity. And in my opinion, if you're the type of person who like fawns after some random internet celebrity that you see, and I say celebrity with massive quotation marks, don't worry, every time, uh, you can't say it, I'm air quoting over here. If you're the type of person who like go, falls for like some internet celebrity, and the second they fall out with their previous girlfriend, you're straight in there trying to get in. You probably have like mental health issues yourself because like normal people don't really get on like that. Normal people generally don't like obsess over some random fucking internet loser especially when the internet loser is as obviously bad as Amber Lynn Reed so yeah potentially there could be mental health issues that is 100% true I don't know how much I would blame Feline's mental health issues though on the relationship not working because if she went in with preset me me uh, medical issues like actual mental health issues do you think Amber would make those any better do you think Amber would make those any better or do you think Amber would be the type of person who'd play on them and try and use them against her <laughs> We're right for each other, but like not right now, you know. And you never know what the future holds. Yeah, That's it. you never know what the future holds. I I totally believe you guys are gonna get back together here next season. It's gonna be amazing. It, it, it's not like she's gonna escape, and we'll probably never ever hear from her existence again. Or like maybe we'll get a, like an expose thing. Like I don't, I don't think anyone's ever found her Instagram or social media or anything like that. So it's not gonna be like Becky or Destiny where they're like fucking like big tweeting about her. So I, I I think I think she's just gonna disappear. It's not like we're gonna have her appearing in future videos because it's like oh my god, an arm floats in from off screen. <laughs> okay, so next question is how are you feeling? And it's been a rough rough few days. That was a good jump cut. That first day, especially after, like because I mentioned I told them about you drinking and how scary that was. Yeah, um, I'm not very good at it. See, that feels... That feels... Okay, like, you say, like, you know, oh, how's it been? That should be the first thing that comes to Feline's head, is that, oh, yeah, I got so drunk, I passed out, and Amber had to baby me, and I, I nearly had to get an ambulance called on me, because, you know, I, I was so heartbroken, I literally drank myself into unconsciousness, which is... A high bar, as an Irish person, I can say that's that's quite a high bar of of, of drinking. <laughs> um, surely she should remember that just off the top of her head and be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that time." Which, like, it seems weird that Amber had to be like, "Oh yeah, remember I told them about that time that you did that." That that seems weird to me. It's kind of like when Foodie Beauty was trying to con con uh, confirm with Pete's. By the way, it might not have been Pete's about like the receipts in that recent video, which I didn't cover because I'm not going to cover the cat shit anymore. But I just had to mention it here quickly. But when she texts Pete, she's like, hello, Pete. Do you remember that time when I was here doing this specific thing and you said that you saw this specific thing? Is that c true? Confirm yes or no that you remember this. And she, he is like, yes, I remember. Like, it, it's like if you're it's like, I don't know. It's like, it's like if you're ever like. Do you remember school where you like did something and you're trying to get your friend to like back you up in a story? Say, like, yeah. Do you, do you remember John? Do you remember John when I was at your house last night? We stayed up all night and that's why I didn't answer my mom's phone calls. Yeah, John. Do you remember that? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you were, yeah, you were in my, you were in my house all, all, all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that shit. Like she's, it feels like she's just feeding it. This is the story, Flane. I'm going to tell you the story in the question, and you just confirm or deny it, okay? Um, that first day, I definitely pushed everything down until it just came out in the worst way possible. Um, but I've been allowing myself to cry. I've been. I don't. I, I just don't get the storyline. I just do not get the storyline like at all. 
the, the emotional thing doesn't make sense. So the first day after it happened, she got so emotional, she immediately drank because she was so emotional, but she couldn't show her emotions. But she's allowed herself to cry, even though when Amber announced it, it was before the drinking thing, wasn't it? It was before, I'm pretty sure it was before the drinking thing. And um, she was talking about how they're just sitting there crying constantly. So the timeline of what she just said there actually doesn't make sense. Because Feline's talking and makes it sound like the first thing that happened was her getting drunk. But Amber said the drunk thing uh, in her second video after it. So it, the timeline actually doesn't really make sense there, like, whatsoever. Um, also, I, I, I just I, I just don't know. Especially if, like, Feline isn't a drinker. It would just seem weird that she would go, like... like what, what did she do? Did she go out? Did she go drive to a liquor store and get, like, a bottle of whiskey and then come back and get absolutely fucking shit-faced? I, I, I don't really buy it because they don't keep alcohol in the house because neither of them drink. So it's not like that'll be, like, your, your go-to. You're just going to reach over and grab a bottle of booze and fucking go for it. You don't keep alcohol in your house. Amber said that numerous times before, that they don't keep alcohol in the house whatsoever because Amber hasn't drank since the, the drunk livestream era. So I, what, what, are we, what are we doing here? I know a lot of people don't get it. And that's okay. You don't have they to. didn't live it, and it's fine. Yeah, because like people say, we don't know. Don't comment on it. You didn't experience our incredible relationship where we kind of, maybe we're kind of in love, kind of, and like she's still pretending I'm not the same girlfriend she got with. But, you know, we're like so madly in love that we both decided whilst on a date together to break up with each other. And actually, we're both like totally okay with it. And there was no argument that led to it, even though it was like when we're getting ready to head out to a date. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, they're definitely, I'm sorry, it, it, both things cannot be true at once, okay? You can't be like, yay, we're going out for a date tonight. And then at the same time being like, yeah, we both mutually, randomly, just without any inciting incident, with no fighting or anything like that, decided we wanted to break up. It's like, no, if that was true and you got you broke up getting ready for a date, there would have been something that happened whilst you're getting ready for the date that caused a fight and then you both decided to break up. If we're going with a mutual thing and not Feline just being like, you know what, I'm fucking, I'm done. I'm just fucking done. And that was it. Is Amber's idea of a mutual breakup, Feline being like, you know what, I'm fucking done. And I'm being like, well, I'm done her. Is that her idea of a fucking mutual breakup? Doesn't really make any sense. So I'm not, I'm not buying it. I'm not super fussed on it. The whole story that just seems like fucking nonsense. Pauline, we didn't know your guys' relationship. Like, that's, I, what, that's what I try to. We knew it pretty well. Across to people is that like what you see on camera you is your whole life. <laughs> What's important to me is you. Sure. And that's how I came across. I protected your privacy for so long, and I'm uh -huh. going to continue to do so. But by doing that, they didn't get to see the beauty in us. They didn't see the fun. The beauty in us. <laughs> The beauty in us, baby. I write, I, I, you know, I write, I love you, baby, on a whiteboard. They never saw the beauty of our relationship. No, people just didn't think it was real because it just seemed so fake. That was it. It's it, it not, we didn't understand the heart and the depth of the soul. It just seemed fake, and people just didn't buy it. That, that, it's, it's, you know what? Just like your relationship, bro, this ain't that deep, okay? But no relationship is perfect. Uh huh. Well, your relationship clearly wasn't perfect since, like, you broke up. So, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for filling me in on the fucking obvious there. Like, yeah, I, I, is Feline going to make a further appearances in Amberlynn vi videos like that? He did. No, I can't imagine so. Like, what did Feline ever bring to an Amberlynn video? Like, she used to bring Destiny back into her videos because Destiny was, like, charismatic and people, like, tuned in to watch Destiny because they thought it was funny. Look at, look at Amber awkwardly fucking flumping around behind Destiny and her new girlfriend because it's so fucking embarrassing. People used to watch for that reason. Who the fuck is like, oh, a special return to Feline? It's like, oh, oh, the, the, the arm? The arm. The arm that occasionally says, baby, I love you, baby, from off camera. Is, is that all we got? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to tune in for that. Is there anything else you want to say or you want to add or whatever it may be? This isn't the last time you guys are going to hear from Feline, by the way. I do you know what I actually would love if it was because this has been so fucking boring. Like I am, I am drier than the Sahara Desert. I'm drier than Feline is during this fucking conversation. I wanted to have an eight minute closing monologue. It definitely doesn't seem like it was scripted by Amber. Because we do have some months together. Yay! And um, I'm gonna start vlogging again. So exciting. I don't want to. So is is Feline going to like sleep on the couch for the next couple months whilst you guys get ready to move? Is that what's going to happen? Or is Amber... Because I like keep an eye on this, guys, to see how this goes. Because they're like... like Feline currently is apparently sleeping on the couch, even though they're in a luxury apartment. So, like, why... 
why didn't they just get like a bed and put it in like the the, the other room, which I guess Amber is using as an office? But doesn't Feline have her own office as well? It, 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 didn't they say that before? I, I can't remember the exact layout. Like people that know, I don't really care about the about the layout of their apartment that much. Like, so why why is she sleeping on the couch? Can they just get like another bed? Or wouldn't they have like a guest bed? Like I have a fucking guest bedroom, you know. Like, surely people who have like more than a couple of bedrooms just automatically have a guest bedroom just in case. Awkward for her to be, you know, her limbs to be <laughs> part of my vlog still. So uh, it's funny. I just want to make it very clear that this is not. I mean, it's dramatic. <laughs> is but it? It's not the type of drama that I think people want. Oh, no, no, it's like no people. People have shit all over you we don't care that you, you brought her out behind this fucking picture and she kind of mumbled out half responses we don't care people don't care people aren't gonna be like oh wow we've been beat up over this we don't we can't talk about this anymore because look at them they seem like they're really friendly and mature still even as feline like mumbles her responses and doesn't seem to give a shit or they're looking for um so yeah, anyways. See, the fact that you brought that up as well just makes it really clear that that's what you're doing this for. This isn't like, I'm. Doing, this is like a video journal, guys, and I'm just trying to say, you're, you're making it so clear, you just don't like the people who are laughing at you for this, so you're trying to have her right here to vindicate you. That's all. Anything else that you'd like to say? You're a good person. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> that was random. I was not expecting that. Oh my god, that was so random. Throws thousand dollar bill at her face. <laughs> this is the problem. This is the problem. No one cares. You are not convincing me, especially with like quote unquote random shit like this. When already half the fucking conversations felt so fucking scripted. Her around saying, just so you know, you are a good person. It's like, bro, the problem is people don't just like, assume Amber is a bad person. People just like pluck that out of fucking thin air. People don't just make it up because they're like, lol, why not? It'll be funny to pretend she's a bad person. People know she is a bad person. People have seen her online for nearly a decade. People know she is just a bad person. It's like Boogie, for example. When Boogie keeps like, hammering in, that's why people like laughing at Boogie so much. Boogie really likes to portray himself as the internet nice guy. I am the nicest, kindest, most loving person who's ever existed. And people have seen hundreds, literally hundreds of examples of him being a piece of shit. That's why people like to laugh at him because then he comes out and goes like, I'm just, the problem is, guys, I'm I'm just, like, too good a person. And then everyone laughs at him for it, because, like, bro, you fucking stupid. Bro, come on. Come, come on, are you trying to convince us of yourself at this point? This is embarrassing. It's exactly that with Amber. People have seen loads of awful shit. Like, I, do, I, do you know what, guys? Because, like, everyone says I'm, knows I'm new to the Amberverse. I had kind of heard that there was some drama between Amber and Becky's mom. It was only on a recent Karina Kaboom, because I got it really into her and I've been like binge watching her shit recently, that I saw a clip from the fucking Amber calling Becky's mom. Holy shit, Amber is a fucking monster. She's a terrible person. A genuine, not even like a bad person. You know, like Feline said, you're a good person. It's not even like, no, no, I'm counting with she is a bad person. I'm counting with she is a terrible person. She is a one out of ten type of fucking person in the nice personality scale bullshit. Not even like, ah, oh, she's like a four. She's like a one. She is genuinely a dog shit person. So you're just saying, ah, oh, she's a six. She's a six out of ten. She's a good person. Fuck off. But we can be best friends and we can be in each other's lives yeah you know? i believe you yeah i mean amber doesn't really have like friends though that aren't part of like her immediate relationship group like 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 i've never seen her like with just oh he, she's my friend everyone she hangs out with are related to the current girlfriend you know like when she hung out or like to do the instagram q a with feline's boyfriend i mean with her definitely real friend you know or she when she was with destin she hung out with libby or when she was with becky and she hung out with like eric and ricky and everyone like that you know she doesn't seem to like have her own core group of friends she just like assimilates herself into um their partner's group of friends which by the way for anyone who's like i don't know i think my audience are like kind of like old enough like i think like i don't really have any particularly super young people i don't think i have any under 18s or anything like that but if if you are getting into a relationship have your own fucking friends like really because like if, if you if you're the type of person who just like solely assimilates yourself into what your girlfriend's personality is your girlfriend's hobbies or interests or your boyfriend's obviously i'm just speaking from my side girlfriend's like hobbies experiences everything you got or her, the girlfriend's friend group 
you're not going to have a healthy relationship because the power dynamic immediately is very one-sided because you don't have your own support structure then and you don't have your own things to like, separate yourself like that's just my opinion you should still have your own hobbies that do not include your girlfriend like i do loads of shit that my girlfriend just is fucking baffled by you should do that it doesn't matter you don't have to share it's not like this fake fucking relationship between these two where they like where amber is like i got a harry potter minifig and, and luckily feline wanted one too oh i wanted lego oh luckily feline wanted some too oh i wanted to do an etch -a sketch oh well, luckily feline wanted one too we're like feline apparently just only had amber's interest and that was it apart from that time they went to a museum and amber looked like she wanted to fucking like drink bleach the entire time have your own hobbies. It's, it's a good way to try and escape. If there's ever any issues or anything, or you just need some you time. Everyone needs you time. Have your own fucking hobbies. Yeah, that's... You're just a good person. <laughs> okay. Like, I know there's people out there who just want to see the character of Amberlynn, but... But it's not. Behind the scenes and off camera. Yeah, people... Oh, yeah, off camera, like, you know, phone, phoning back his mom, or off camera, like, phoning back his mom, or what she thought, apparently, it was on Destiny's live stream. This is just nonsense, after, especially after that. This just feels like damage control. I don't believe it. It seems fake. Can we Can we just not, bro? You're a good person. Yeah, sure. I believe you. And I'm excited to see your growth in the <laughs> next phase of your life. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm hoping you do take the time to just... Lose weight? You more. Stop lying. You're going to be a jealous ex. I, I, I just want you to take the time to focus on you more. That makes it sound like Amber spent the entire relationship looking after fucking wifey. Like, can we not? We're just ticking all the boxes of Amber trying to get rid of all the standard criticism against her. This is so fucking fake and it's so fucking cringe. Like, bro, this is... Can we just... Like, I would have respected Amber more for not doing this clearly fake shit. Like, I'm, like this is too much. You just want me to be single. <laughs> See, we be joking still. Uh, <laughs> no, wow, we be joking I, still. I don't think I've ever wanted to be single this bad in my life. I have not been single since I was 16. Okay, like, sure. Like, when you really li realistically think about it, I've always... Why does the heart change size occasionally? That really is... That just throws me. Uh, but the heart got bigger again because we're back into an emotional moment. So Amber shrinks again, unfortunately. So there goes me and my girlfriend down there, just hanging out. <laughs> I've either been in a relationship or I've been talking to somebody, but I don't want that. Yeah. I want to see who I am as a single individual. Same here. I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm sorry. This is so fucking cringe. It's so fucking embarrassing. Like, it's apparently they're going to be together for a month still because that's how long it takes her to organize a move. I, I guess? Maybe? What? Like, it, it takes her apparently months to organize a move? Like, okay. Sure. Whatever. 100%. Even though apparently the move was already being planned before this breakup was even happening. And the first thing that happened, I guess after this because they decided to like amber and her were meant to move to a certain state but then when they broke up amber is moving to a different state that from that original state and feline is also moving to a different state from that original state but amber immediately right after like of the day or two after the relationship broke up she was already had already phoned her tax accountant to check if they would work with her in this new state but she knows what state she's going to already but it's going to take her months to move there like what what is this? Either she's like absolutely broke and can't afford the move, or this is just fucking Narnia. That's gonna be interesting for us both to find that, you know. Is it though? Yeah. Is it though? That's a good silence right there, boys. I mean, there are periods of time where I'm seeing a single. Um, <laughs> what is this conversation? You know, I want some extended period. Oh, uh, did you hear the rustle there? Did you hear the rustle there? Conspiracy theory again. <laughs> that was her changing the page on the script. I heard her. I did hear a rustle. I'm not sure what it was. That's all I. That's all I'm thinking of. Because there was like an unnatural pause there. Like it was a very long pause. Because remember, this is at 1.5 speed. That there's a pause that long, and then you heard the rustle. 100. percent She was changing the page in the script. <laughs> that's what I'm going for here. Yeah, of time. It's gonna be good for you. Uh huh. Yeah. It's gonna be uh, a time of growth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A reflection. Mm-hmm. Um. A ton of reflection. I need to sit down and really think about how how I ruined the life of Dainty Queen Amber Lynn Reed. This whole entire conversation has still been entirely Feline focused. And I'm sorry. Like it's like I said at the start. I just don't buy it. Like there you go, Amber. You could you could bring you could De Destiny and Becky could both show up in this video to actually say, Do you know what? we made it all up. Amber is actually the best person ever. And I still be like, uh-huh, okay, cool. What's she forcing you guys with? I, I just wouldn't buy it. It's it's so pointless to address this rumor when it doesn't prove anything or help you in any way. It's gonna be weird for me and hard, but 
going to be interesting because, like, I've noticed, like, especially in the last, like, maybe four years of my life. We're really struggling here. I to like get to anything. be alone. Sure. Like, I like my alone time. Sure. You know? See, don't go crazy with that. I mean, you yes. I love being married. I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't. I don't. Amber is the type of person who, like, films her life. Because she likes people's attention. She likes people's eyes on her. She likes positive affirmation. So much so that if people are negative in her comment section, she has fucking meltdown, has to do videos complaining about how people are mean to her. She has to address every negative rumor. Amber loves people loving her. That's why people say she's a narcissist. She loves the idea of people loving her. Like, I'm sorry. The idea of her being like, I love being by myself and not actually being near people. It's like, fuck right off. That goes against everything we see about you constantly. You. I love being near you. <laughs> that doesn't change. Sure. But like, you know, those couple of times where you went to see your family and I was here. Like, I loved that alone time, you know? Sure. I mean, I, I think you need some alone time. Oh, absolutely. You as Wow, God. You're really, you're, you're hitting the home runs here. Did you guys know sometimes you need alone time? Wow. That's... Something, I I guess, maybe. <laughs> this is fucking, this is just so silly. We're like, can we get, can we wind it down? We've got about three minutes left. And I'm just like, what what are we doing here anymore? Wow, that was depressing. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop right now. Over here crying, you're crying. I know, you ended up crying, you emotional thing. Yeah, I really, I could, I could tell from the voice that she's like weeping. <laughs> I'm over here crying. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, even vaguely emotional about this. It's so weird because even Amber doesn't sound like she gives a shit. This sounds like this sounds like nearly a passive aggressive level of not giving a shit. It really just feels like they do not care at all. And this is just like a oh, we need to do this for the fucking YouTube. Okay, kick up the camera. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, like relationships and you know oh, stuff like that and <laughs> Where did this emotion come from? You must have put some teardrops up in my eyes. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it was. Looking. That's yeah, what it was. Aye. Put something in the air, make my eyes. Um, like we've we've gone like we've gone like meta with this shit. People used to laugh about how like Feline was just an arm. Now we don't even get like a picture of an arm or a picture of inside of the apartment. We just have a still shot of them describing what is happening. It is like I'm watching one of those like uh, those videos for the deaf where like, it has an audio description over. It's like. A man walks up and opens a large door. Inside, we see it's it's like I'm it's like I'm experiencing that, but someone describing the breakup of a relationship to me. <laughs> All right, you guys, we will see you later, and thank you, Feline, for just being great. Don't play with me. You know you're the great one. No, it's not. See, everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Best friends for life. You're stuck with me. Oh my god, I'm like I'm just gonna I'm gonna go back and just clip through this video because it's been it's been boring and i don't want it's like my recording's about 50 minutes here and i don't want to make you guys sit through it and this is 1.5 times speed it had been so fucking boring it like it, it just has it, it, it's been so incredibly boring the last couple of minutes were just them being like oh do you want to watch a movie together oh my god yeah let's watch a movie what a movie do you want to watch oh i want to watch this oh uh, do you remember we watched this movie oh my god i didn't even like that movie and i was like it all seems so fake it like i'm sorry where does this even fit into like a breakup video? That's the problem. They're trying so hard to do this like, oh, we're so in love, we're so friendly with each other, tee hee thing, that it's like, what is what is the point of this? Why include this in your your heartbreaking conversation? Like, where was the heartbreak? Oh my god, it was it was so boring. Like there was nothing revealed. There was nothing discussed. It was so fucking fake. Uh terrible fucking awful like just so boring and it doesn't it doesn't make me think any differently it seems so fucking fake like it seemed if you could have made the scene in any way realistic or amber could have like given any any fucking grind a millimeter i would think a millimeter of fucking grind i would be like you know what okay whatever maybe this seems a wee bit more but no it still wasn't the entire thing was all still feline focused again which i'm sorry i just don't fucking buy with feline randomly telling amber about how amazing some person she is and people just don't understand because they don't see her off camera because she's such an amazing person off camera they just want to believe she's a character like fuck off this is really cringe i'm gonna have to go back through and edit this um yeah i was i was i'm glad because like last night i got in and i saw it um that it'd be posted and i was like i could just I can maybe quickly do it because it's 20 minutes long. I could maybe quickly do it. I'm glad I didn't because it's just it's so bad. So I'll get it added. I'll, it should be up tonight at some point. But yes, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.